What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to create system zone. Okay, system zone, the shortcut is SZ or SZ. You can find it on the Analyze tab, Energy Optimization System Zone. So you might be wondering, so what's the difference between the zone tool, which is this one? It's also on the Analyze tab. So we have the zone tool here and then we have here the system zone. Okay, so basically, they are related to organizing and managing spaces within a building. But they are actually serving different purposes and are used in different contexts. Like for example, for our zone tool in Revit, it is used primarily for architectural and spatial organization. So it allows you to group spaces within a building for various purposes such as like scheduling, documentation, and analysis, okay? So the key features and uses of the zone tools or, or the zone tool are the first one is for scheduling, second one is documentation, and then the third is analysis. Now, the other zone here, which is the system zone, the shortcut is SZ, system zones in Revit are related to MEP or mechanical electrical plumbing systems within a building, okay? So these zones are defined to group areas based on their heating, cooling, what else? Ventilation, lighting, or other system-related requirements. So system zones are used for energy analysis, load calculation, um, HVAC design or HVAC zone, and daylighting and lighting analysis. Okay, so that's the key features and uses of system zones. So in summary, zone tool is used for architectural organization and documentation, while system zones pertain to MEP systems and energy-related analysis within a building. So they have different applications and are used by different professionals within the design and engineering process. Okay, so let us now create a system zone. Okay, so I'm going to select the system zone here. So let's click that one. So I'm going to create a system zone on this analytical spaces here. So I have the exam 1 to 4 up to consult 1. So if they are touching the line of my system zone, they will going to be included to the system zone automatically. Okay, so as you can see here on the system browser, let me just cancel this one first. So I'm going to select yes here. Okay, so you see the system browser here is empty. Okay, so how to activate the system browser if this one is not open? So I'll just close that one. So I'm just going to right click and then look for browsers and then you can look for system browser. Okay, and, and then after that, you just need to select here analytical systems. Okay, so just click that. So there's the analytical system. So by default, we don't have one, right? So we are going to create one. So I'm going to select system zone here. So when I click this, right off the bat, it will now create the name of your system zone here. So we can change that one out later. So, but before that, I'm going to define the system zone. So, I want exam 1 to 4 space uh, up to consult 1. So, I'm going to click there and then I'm going to select here modify. So, since these four spaces or rooms touches the uh, system zone that I created, they will be automatically added to the system zone later once we create the uh, energy analysis model okay right and like what i have said you can specify here the name of that so let's say that will gonna be my zone one okay and then you can also put a name here you can specify the level you can specify the level offset so right now we are on ground floor and then the offset is four feet from the ground floor so that's the height of my system zone and then you can specify here the IFC parameters. So right now we don't have any zone equipment assigned to our system zone. But that's alright. So we are just creating a system zone here. So I'm just going to select here, check, finish edit mode and that's it. So we just created our first system zone. We name it zone 1. 
okay now let's create another one so here so what i want to do i want this whole area here the patient corridor and then including these rooms here okay so what i'm gonna do is same procedure i will select the system zone all right and then i'll just change the name here so let's say i'll just call this uh two system zone two as you can see it now updated so i'm going to use here rectangle tool so let's click that one and then i'm gonna click here first point i'm gonna click here second point and then after that i'm going to select here finish so that's it so now for me to be able to include the patient corridor so i'm going to click that blue node up down here to the left and to the right there you go and then i will just select here modify okay if you want to edit your system zone just click that one and then there's the edit system zone just click that one and then you will be going back to sketch mode so let me just close this one and then select here modify to deselect the tool all right now the next thing that we will be doing is we are going to create an energy model so as you can see the analytical spaces is not yet assigned to our system zone here so we only have the system zone here which is this one and system zone 2 which is this one but we are expecting these spaces that we have here i want that to be shown under the system here okay now for me to be able to do that i'm going to create energy model so let's create this one so let's click this so let's read first the definition so it creates the energy analytical model so this feature allows you to inspect the energy analytical model so that you can validate it before running the energy simulation okay so the energy analytical model is based on rooms or spaces conceptual masses building elements or both depending on the analysis mode selected in the energy settings in dialog okay so let me just select this one click that oh let me just cancel this one by the way there's the energy settings here see there's an energy settings okay so let me just cancel this one i if i remember it right we have discussed some of these uh, parameters before this system zone topic okay so you can refer to that video so let me just cancel this okay so let's select uh, create energy model create the energy analytical model so let's click that one and let's wait it should create a 3d model that shows the yes this one the analytical spaces okay you see these blue colors here or magenta color so these are actually your analytical spaces so as you can see now on my uh, I now have here zone 1 and zone 2. Okay, so if I expand that, so I can see that these are now the analytical spaces that is assigned to my system zone. So basically, your system zone, it's a collection of analytical spaces here. So if I select this one, so as you can see, it highlights there. So you can right-click that. If you want, you can show other views. Select Show. Let's see if it is show other views. No, it doesn't show us other views. That's all right. Let's just close that one. How about this one? Show. Okay, so let me just close that. So I have my system zone 2 and I also have the system zone 1. If you remember, your system zone 1 is how many analytical spaces? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? and then these are the system zone 2 these other analytical spaces they are not yet assigned to a zone that's why they are still outside right so i have this two zone here okay so basically that's how you create your system zone which is part of your examination so don't forget this one and then that's also how your energy model looks like okay so if you click one, let's say I click the zone one here, I click the exam 1-1. One -one. So one good thing about this is you can check the property here of that analytical space. And then you can see here the area, the volume, and then you also have some parameters for your uh, mechanical flow, for your pacing, energy analysis, what else, uh, identity data. 
So that's the room number and then the room name. Okay, right. Okay, so basically that's how you create your analytical zone or system zone and your energy model. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.